No! Betrayed by Alfonso Davies. No! Canada losing 1-0. Alfonso Davies could have scored the 1-0 goal for Canada. He misses the penalty shot. But what a great performance overall by Canada in this game. Uh, taking it to the number two uh, seeded team in the world, Belgium. I don't think they expected Canada to be so aggressive. Quick paced, well organized. Uh, guys, Canada showing great things today. Uh, tw over 20 attempted shots against Belgium. Against Belgium. They were proactive offensively. Like I said, well organized in the midfield. Uh, putting a lot of pressures on the uh, Belgian players. Not giving them time to think, to lift their heads. Looking for the open man, looking for the open pass. No, Belgium, most of the game, had to play on counterattacks because Canada was always in their face, creating occasions. Um, they didn't have that killer instinct in front of the net. It kind of bit them in the ass a bit, if you want, at the end. But great performance by Canada. Uh, they could have taken the early lead with the Alfonso Davies penalty, but Courtois makes a great save. Why did Davies take it? He's a left back, guys. Yes, he plays as a wing for Canada, but originally he's a left back. He plays left back for Bayern. Uh, why not make David take it? I know Davis is overall your star player, right? He's your best player. You make him take the penalty shot, maybe, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. To me, you always make a striker take the penalty shots first, and then you go on to the rest of the players. That being said, um, Canada could have gotten a second penalty shot. They don't give it to Canada. To me, it was a clear foul. The Belgium defender steps on the uh, foot of the uh, Canadian attacker. They don't give it, guys. Uh, there was another occasion where the VAR had to intervene as well for Canada. It didn't go their way. But overall, guys, what a great performance. Belgium scores uh, in late minutes of the first half. Canada falls asleep for like 15 seconds. That's all it took. Uh, Belgium defender lobs the ball across the field. Um, Batshuayi picks it up in the uh, offensive zone and he scores a nice goal but uh, guys you would think that Canada would have been like oh damn we got scored on let's you know lose morale a bit that intensity no Canada comes back in that second half guys and they step it up again they start off where they left off and you know what they had an excellent second half as well and defensively in the second half they had to make some good interventions Belgium was uh, had a few good occasions but defensively, guys, great tackles on the ball. Uh, guys, overall, just a great performance by this Canadian team. You can't say nothing to them. Like I said, I think uh, Belgium was kind of shocked at the performance by Canada. I didn't think they expected it. But this Belgium team, even though they didn't have Lukaku, is on paper a lot stronger than Canada. But they didn't show it today. Uh, too bad. Too bad because Canada deserved some points. But this group, guys, is open. And I think if Canada plays the way they did today, they're going to bring some points home and they might qualify for the next round. I think they're qualifying for the next round. I think they're going to tie against Croatia and win against Morocco. That's my prediction. Um, we'll see. But uh, great showing for Canada. Their first game since 1986. And what a performance it was. Uh, Buchanan midfield, I love today. I think he had an excellent game, guys. But a lot of these Canadian players, they, you didn't expect to perform so well against Belgium. They wanted to show that even though they were the Davids against the Goliaths, they could perform. And they did, guys. And it's a good message for everybody else in the group. Don't take this Canadian team lightly because, you know what? They might surprise you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe.